Japanese Research Institute has found out what sleeping people are seeing in their dreams by applying computer analysis to their brain activity. So how do they discover these dreams that surely only the dreamer could know? Radio Japan Focus. Today we explain how this is being done. So how do they discover the dreams? Well, the subject puts on a monitoring device, goes to sleep and starts to dream. The computer then analyzes the content of the dream to identify some of the things that appear in it. The names of those things come up on the screen in just a few seconds. Suppose you dream of a car, for example, then the word car will be displayed. The system cannot, though, tell you the color or shape of the car. However, this method doesn't work for just anybody's dreams. They do have to prepare. First of all, while the experimental subject is still awake, they measure his or her brain activity in a magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI, device. It's a medical scanner. This way, they find out pictorially how the blood flow in the brain changes during brain activity. The scientists show the subject photographs of various things, such as books, cars, or apples, and record the images of how the brain responds to each one. The brain's blood flow changes subtly according to what the subject sees, and the resulting brain images are different for each photo. So the blood flows differently in your brain when you see an apple and when you see a car, and it's possible to observe that difference. The differences which appear in these images are, though, only very small and would be very hard to catch by the naked eye. The scanner is therefore connected to a computer, which is programmed to analyze the variations in brain activity and produce data on the particular patterns which appear in the brain of each individual subject when the various photographs are watched. Everyone's brain activity patterns are different. So when I see a car and you see a car, the patterns in our brains don't change in the same way. Before performing a dream reading experiment, therefore, the subject must be shown a number of photographs in order to discover what patterns each one produces. And the dream reading experiment itself can only begin once that preparatory work has been done. The subject now gets into the MRI scanner and goes to sleep. When the sleeping subject dreams, the scanner catches the resulting blood flow changes and the computer compares those brain images with the ones obtained when the wakeful subject was shown the pictures of various objects. If two patterns match, then the computer flashes up the dream item on the display. And how successful has this method been for reading dreams? Before the experiments, the scientists show the subjects photographs of about 200 data items to collect the related brain activity data. They say they've managed to identify items which the subjects are seeing in their dreams with roughly 70 to 80 percent accuracy. The leader of the research group is Yukiyasu Kamitani of the ATR, the Advanced Telecommunications Research Institute International, which is located in Kyoto in western Japan. Kamitani first thought of using a computer to compare people's brain patterns in their waking and dreaming states to find out what they were dreaming of back in 2005. The experiments on actual subjects began in 2008. After five years of accumulated studies, they announced their findings to the world last year. Kamitani tells us the hardest part of this research. We can't control what we see in dreams, so it was a process of trial and error to find out how we could do the experiments. In order to establish whether the computer analysis of the images corresponded to the content of the dream, we also had to ask the subject about it. People, though, cannot remember what they see if the dream is too brief. Conversely, they forget the dream's content if too much time passes after they've dreamt it. It was difficult to find the right moment to wake the subject up. Now that he has developed this way to read dreams, Kamitani is applying it to read the images that are imagined or float up in the minds of wakeful people. Kamitani believes that this could be useful for treating psychiatric patients who suffer from hallucinations. Some psychiatric patients see various hallucinations and find it difficult to distinguish between them and reality. The patients experience the things they hallucinate as real, but the people around them have no idea what they are thinking. 
by using the method that we've developed to identify their brain patterns, we can know what they're thinking objectively. This method, which Kamitami and his team have developed, is already attracting the attention of psychiatrists. Associate Professor Katsuyuki Sakai of the University of Tokyo Graduate School and Faculty of Medicine hopes that this ability to identify the images inside people's heads will indeed prove helpful in treating psychiatric patients. This technique has the power to clarify the content of the delusions or hallucinations of psychiatric patients. I suspect that this way of examining patients will also lead to the invention of new methods of treatment. If a doctor can know, for example, that a frightened patient is seeing a certain kind of hallucination, then perhaps the hallucination could be suppressed by showing the patient some relaxing images. Psychiatric treatment could develop through this process of extrapolating specific information about the patient from the brain patterns and then providing appropriate feedback. Kamitami tells us that he's now trying to refine his technique for analyzing dreams to the point where it can be of practical use in psychiatry. The content of dreams at present is represented only by single words. The information is very fragmental. As to how those words are related, say, when the words cat and dog appear, we need to be able to tell whether the cat is biting the dog or the dog is biting the cat. If we could, for example, learn to identify actions such as biting, then I think we could draw closer to the story that's being told by the dream. If we knew the story of the dream, I think that would also help in the treatment of psychiatric patients. Dreams, images, and so on are produced by the brain itself, and only the subject can know them. It is difficult to examine what goes on in the mind objectively, but I want to regard this dream reading technique as a milestone and carry on with this line of research. Today on Radio Japan Focus, we introduced a computer technique for reading people's dreams. <laughs> 